Stargazers probably won't be able to take their eyes off the sky. The biggest planet in our solar system, Jupiter, will be closer than ever. The best part is you'll be able to see it right there, bright as day. Uh, well, night? This hasn't happened in the last six decades, which is why NASA is urging everyone to pay attention to this once-in-a-lifetime event. Let's see how you can catch a glimpse of Jupiter in the sky. First of all, how can we take a look at Jupiter in the sky? It's not that hard at all. You'll need a pair of decent binoculars and a little bit of planning. You'll be able to see Jupiter once you go towards a darker area far away from any city lights. City lights will clash with the celestial lights, canceling them out and keeping you from a clear look. For those of you in coastal areas, go to the beach to spot Jupiter in the sky. The ocean doesn't have a lot of light to emit, which is why the beach is a great idea. If you don't have access to the coast, however, just go for any large expanse or an open area like a large field in the countryside. You might want to warm yourselves up a bit because it's going to get chilly very quickly. The temperature might drop a bit, especially in certain parts of Massachusetts. Most importantly, be well prepared to stay there for a long while. Looking at the stars is a time-consuming process, as it takes a bit for the eyes to get used to the dark sky. Once your eyes are well-adjusted, you'll be ready to fully view the stars emerging in the night sky. Moving on, you might be questioning what time Jupiter becomes visible at night. In Boston specifically, Jupiter rose in the east at around 6.37 p.m. on Monday. The sky isn't yet dark enough to see Jupiter that early in the evening, so you'll have to stay patient. Even if a little bit of the sun's light is present, it's impossible to view anything in outer space. Once it gets dark, you don't have to worry because Jupiter will stay through the night, every night for a week. According to NASA, Jupiter will stick around and be viewable by everyone, provided they stand in a dark area and look closely. The planet will be at a distance of 591 million kilometers from Earth which is a relatively short distance, according to NASA. This proximity to Earth enables the planet to be seen by us with normal and accessible equipment. At larger distances, these planets can only be viewed with the help of very expensive equipment that we civilians can barely access. Coming up, let's talk about the equipment you'll need to be able to look at Jupiter clearly. If you're concerned about locating Jupiter in time, you don't have to worry. There are some apps readily available that, once you point them at the sky, will be able to show you exactly where Jupiter is. Some of these smartphone applications include Sky Safari, Sky View, Starwalk 2, and Sky Guide. You can install them on your phone beforehand so that you're ready for the event. If you want to manually detect Jupiter, experts have helped in that department too. They've hinted that after the moon, Jupiter will be the brightest object in the sky, which is how you'll be able to tell that you're looking at the right planet. If you trust your eyes to be able to detect the planet properly, locating the planet yourself will be an experience in itself. If you want to really see the details of Jupiter, you can get a pair of binoculars to stargaze. They can be quite expensive, but it's worth the money if you get to see the largest planet in the solar system with your own eyes. It's sure to be a magical experience to see the details in real time. Using binoculars, you could clearly see the central band of Jupiter. Not just that, but you'll even be able to see three moons alongside it. It's quite crazy to imagine the whole scene unfolding in front of your eyes, even though it may be difficult to get a hold of binoculars. Try to find a stargazing mate whom you can share a pair of binoculars with because this site will be worth it. Furthermore, you won't believe your eyes if you look at Jupiter through a telescope. Yes, that's right. If you manage to get to a telescope, you'll be able to clearly see the variety of bands around Jupiter. Not just that, but you could even take a look at the Great Red Spot, which is a storm happening on Jupiter. The Great Red Spot is oval-shaped, almost the size of Earth entirely. When you look at it in detail, you're able to point out every curve and crevice on the organic form of Jupiter. We get to know about these things through pictures all the time, but looking at them yourself will be an entirely different and very rare experience. After all, maybe you don't have to be distressed if you miss this opportunity on Monday night. A lot of people raise concerns that viewing Jupiter from Earth might become impossible in some regions due to the unexpected nature of weather nowadays. However, experts have assured us that we shouldn't stress about that because Jupiter will be visible for a few more days. Monday night was indeed the peak of visibility for Jupiter, but the views will be quite clear for a few days before and after September 26th. However, after Jupiter disappears, you might not be able to get a look at it for several decades. That is because Jupiter takes a very long while to complete its orbit around the Sun, taking as long as 12 years to come back to the same spot again. So make sure you fight your way to get a look at Jupiter as fast as you can. Moving on to other related news. First of all, NASA's DART mission has sent a spacecraft to slam into an asteroid. NASA has all of its telescopes on board, 
a certain spacecraft in order to monitor it slamming into an asteroid. It's quite a big deal because of how the movement of a natural object in space is being altered. Something like this has never been done before so it's hard to predict the results this collision will have. One of the scientists from a DART program, Thomas Statler, has stated how it is very fascinating to think about what this event will hold for our future on this planet. JWST, alongside the Hubble Space Telescope, will be capturing images from the DART mission to show us the exact mechanics of how the spacecraft will collide with the asteroid. The images will also be able to show us the cool after effects of this collision, documenting how the debris explodes due to impact. This is one of the first times that NASA is running a test to learn more about how any future asteroids can be prevented from threatening the well-being of our planet. Moving forward, NASA's Webb Space Telescope has shown images of our closest star nursery. Some of the very first images of the Orion Nebula, the richest star nursery in the solar system, are here, and they are astonishing to look at. This star nursery is located in Orion's constellation, almost 1,350 light years away from our planet, making it the closest star nursery to us. The Orion Nebula is an area in this galaxy where a lot of stars form, the environment being almost exactly like the one in which the solar system came into being almost half a billion years ago. Studying the Orion Nebula is not only helping experts figure out more interesting facts about this star nursery, but it also helps us better understand how our planet was born. Finally, the Webb Space Telescope was also able to get clearer images of a galaxy over the size of the Milky Way. The IC5332 spiral galaxy could be seen in exquisite detail when the Webb Space Telescope brought back some images. Using the the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI technology, the telescope was able to capture images of the galaxy clearly, even though it lies 29 million light years away from our planet. IC5332 stretches on for almost 66,000 light years, which in actuality makes it larger than the Milky Way. Luckily, the galaxy directly faces Earth in such a way that we can see spiral-like arms sweep around it very symmetrically. The MIRI technology brings back images that no longer have darker areas depicting dust and actually shows crisp images that capture the absolute details of the galaxy very efficiently. And that's a wrap, folks. Thanks for watching. Will you be heading out to take a look at Jupiter tonight? Tell us in the comments below. And as always, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on more space-related updates.